In today's episode, we're working behind a couple of contractors. They accidentally hit the main water line with a screw, but no big deal because it's a Friday afternoon and we didn't want to go home anyways. We're going to open up the section of sheetrock and see what we can find. I never mark sheetrock with a sharpie. Don't you worry, I'm going to be cutting out all my sharpie marks. I'm just making a small opening that I can see what's going on inside the wall. Hey boy, you better try to save that sheetrock. This piece just got a little too wet for a little too long, so it kind of crumbled apart as I went to pull it out. There should be stud guards installed wherever the water line passes through the stud. That way you can't hit it with a nail when you're installing sheetrock or cabinets. These little plates cost about 50 cents and they could have saved about $600 worth of repairs. What's with the magic marker, boy? I keep touching on this subject because it's one of the most common comments that I get when I'm pro pressing. The Sharpie mark is just a depth gauge that way I can see that it's fully inserted while I press it. Sometimes things move around. Hey, what's up, dog? This little guy was watching me do this whole repair. Got the water back on. Gonna call it a day. Have a good weekend. 